Hey everyone and welcome back to another base tour in the Beehive. Now before we go on, if you feel like building yourself in the Beehive, that is possible. Just follow the link in the description to our Discord where you find the guidelines and also the portal codes to the Beehub itself. Today we are not in the main hub, we are in a system nearby and this is the planet Nirvana decided to build her Beehub base on. The last time we toured this base together, this planet was not an endless morass, but a very nice green lush planet. Now since Origins this planet has changed and it was time for me to do a, an official base tour of Nirvana's base. Before we jump into the base, let us have a quick camera flyby. Now, every time you visit one of Nirvana's bases, you will notice there is something mystical, something mysterious about her bases. It's like something is gonna happen, something is waiting inside. You don't even have to look at her base computer to know this is a Nirvana build. I really love the use of the race initiators here, but I'm especially impressed with how she has used the float hulls on the dome in the center. They are not just straight domes, they are angled on a 45 degree. I first would have said it is a wire glitch, but I don't think so, so I would assume this is done by blender glitching. Anyway, the result looks amazing. Okay, let's have a look inside and see what this base looks like. Look at how she... Really, this is very impressive how these uh, floors are so merged together. It has this, it almost looks like a uh, Fabergé egg, if that's the word, the right word for it. Very nicely done, Nirvana. And I assume this is the perfect circle technique. If I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Did did we do already the, the perfect circle technique by then? Yes, because the kaleidoscope was part of that. So yeah, so this is the perfect circle technique. And there seems to be a little hidden doorway here. Let's go inside. Look at the amazing how this floor looks. It's like a web. Because look at how these uh, the pattern is just simply beautiful. And then the how the star. I think it's yeah, how the star of the uh, initiators really fill up the whole center there. Look how beautiful this looks from the top here. It, it, you only start to notice how beautiful builds are if you really start looking in different angles. Sometimes on the side it looks already amazing, but from the top it's just it's just mind blowing. Really amazing looking base, Nirvana. Great job. Almost like a stargazer. This is Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion Kaleidoscopes. I'm just trying to figure out what the name would mean to the look of the base, but definitely this looks amazing. I wish we could uh, kind of uh, delete these so we only have the race initiators. Um, it's okay, you can of course, you know, they, they can be used for a certain aspect, but if, they, if the screens would not be there, they would definitely make a much cleaner build for sure. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. We, we are going to have to deal with the building parts we have. Uh, no matter what, Nirvana did a great job using them and creating this amazing looking base. Anyway, Nirvana, thank you so much for building your base here. I really appreciate it and it looks amazing. Uh, for anyone else that wants to come and visit this base, I would say come and do so. Just follow the portal coordinates on the screen right now. I want to also thank everyone else that has been building so far in the B-Hub. I really appreciate it. And I will be doing your base tours one by one in the future. I also got some questions from other people that were not sure if they were allowed to build in the B-Hub. They felt like, is this only for uh, big elite builders? Uh, please do not think like that. If you feel like building in the B-Hub, then please do so. Just follow the link to the Discord in the description, check the guidelines and drop your base in the B-Hub. And don't worry if you build small bases, that's okay too. Then I will just combine three or four bases together in one base tour and just uh, make sure your base is featured as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much and see you again next time for the next base tour. Goodbye for now.